Today on All Things 80s, we've got Soundwave and Buzzsaw. <laughs> Welcome back to All Things 80s. Now, for Christmas last year, I received the Transformers reissue of Optimus Prime, which I was very happy with. And if you watch the video, which is up here, I kind of go into detail about how I wanted that for my Christmas back in 84 or 85. Can't remember now but it was sold out, blah, 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 finally got the Optimus Prime. So I was looking for the other uh, G1 Transformers that I've always wanted, and to get the originals from the 80s in decent condition, it's just far, far too expensive. So these G1 reissues for me are absolutely perfect. And this is a Transformer that I last held in primary six, and I remember it quite vividly because a chap in my class brought one in and this was at the height of the Walkman craze. So to get a toy that looked like a Walkman that transformed into a robot with a little tape that also transformed was like, wow, this is the most amazing thing. Um, never did get Shockwave as a child. So now I have it. Um, like I said, this is the reissue, which I believe may have been Walmart exclusives. And uh, that being the case, uh, this one has arrived and the packaging is quite decent actually. Uh, the Optimus Prime I got from Amazon last Christmas, that was actually sent in a brown envelope and the box was bashed to hell. So this one has arrived from eBay, pretty good condition. So let's get this opened up and check out Soundwave and Buzzsaw. All right, so here we go with Soundwave and Buzzsaw. Now, as I said, I never had this as a child, so I cannot really comment on the packaging as to whether it's authentic or not. But for my purposes, it's more than adequate. It looks really good. And um, on the back, they do have the schematics, but if it's like my Optimus Prime, it does not come with the red plastic decoder. Although a blind man can see the blue line throughout all of this, so that's fine. Um, the image here reminds me of the other Transformers I did have as a child, so that seems all pretty authentic. Um, you know, not much else to be said, it's just a box. But anyway, going to get this opened up and get these Transformers out. So, try to be as careful as possible. But like I said, this one arrived in rather decent condition compared to the other one I have, which was a nice surprise. What do we have here? So we got good old stickers and hopefully instructions because as I mentioned in the introduction there, I haven't held one of these since primary six, which I'm guessing would have been 1985, I think. So anyway, let's see what we got here. Man, this is well packaged. So there's our sticker sheet, and we got our booklet here, telling us how to transform sound wave and buzzsaw. Okay, I will need to refer to these because it's like I said, it's been a long, long time. So we got missiles, and I'm trying to remember on the original were these not meant to sort of emulate batteries that went in the back? Possibly, I don't know, don't quote me on that. So I guess first things first, we'll take a look at Buzzsaw. And, right, that's got decent weight to it actually. Yeah, that's rather surprising. Wow, that's really good. I guess it does have metal internals. I don't know. Actually, I'm just kind of winging this. Winging it, <coughs> excuse me, get it. Um, I wonder if I should actually try to follow this. Let me put it back there. So we have it like this, and then number two would suggest turning like this, and like that. Number three is put it this way. Number four is 180, like this. Okay, and then what do we have here? 
Wow, I'm terrible at these. I really am. Man, can't even see the instructions that we've got. Wow. Man, I, what the hell am I doing wrong here? Where's this head? Yeah, this does, I was correct in trying to get this thing to come forward, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, what's this? Is that it? No. Oh, that's like this? Yeah, I guess so. Yep, pretty cool. Like I said, fantastic feel to it. Yeah, good job on that. I mean, oh, he, do, he does come with little extras, doesn't he? These pieces here. I really hate these plastic uh, trays. I much prefer the good old styrofoam, but... Good thing I'm keeping this because when you try to get these parts out, you really do mess up the trays. Ah, ah come on. Right, there we go. And I guess these just pop in here. Is that right? Or is it the other way? guess that'll do for now so yeah pretty cool now sound wave himself it's got these like rubbery band things which I'm guessing I'll just have to pss, cut those off wow this too feels really good. Uh, let's see, what do we have by way of... We'll get to transform in just a second, just to enjoy the... Oh, well, look at that. Fantastic. That's a great feel to it. Very impressive. You know, I should probably transform the buzzsaw back again to see how well he does fit into his... Okay, there we go. Fantastic, just as I remember it. Of course, these don't actually do anything, but that's okay. F superb. So anyway, wow, the, the volume dial does turn. Got the belt clip. Um, I'm wondering, does... Was I right when I said that I thought these missile parts were in the form of batteries in the original. I mean, I, I could be imagining that, of course. But, and there's no rub sticker, uh, but that's okay. There was one on my Optimus Prime. But anyway, transformation time. So, first things first, appears that something here comes, swings down, is it? Man, it's like a damn puzzle. Uh, what the hell am I doing wrong here? Let me see, it says here these, this has to come down. Ah, ah, there we go. Is that right? Okay. And what did I do there? I press something up here. So that was like. Oh, so that wasn't. That was just. Oh, I thought I'd released it by pulling down on this, but that's just. Doesn't function. That's okay. And then this. Okay. We got that. And then what we do, we turn these this way. Okay. Arms. 
swing out, okay. And then we, what the hell? We got something coming out here. Okay, there's the feet. Is there an easier way? Oh, okay, there is an easier way, of course. So we've got that, and then we bring the hands out and swing the head up and turn it round. Okay, that seems to be it. And what else? All right, so then we just add on these other parts. Don't need to do that just now. So yeah, again, it's, it's got decent weight to it and it does look good like that. The funny thing is, um, it looks equally as impressive as my Optimus Prime does, which is good. In fact, I would say I like this one more. Um, certainly more more to it in terms of transforming it and everything. And these are hinged, yeah, superb, fantastic. Now these extra stickers are for what? Um, uh, da, 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 da. All right, so they go on like so. I'm gonna do that later on. I'm gonna bore you with me trying to get these stickers on. Interesting that they come with some stickers applied, but not other ones. I guess they want a bit of, you know, purchaser uh, interaction. But yeah, this is great. Now, why are there three of these missile heads? Um, all right, let me get these out and take a quick look at them. So, I guess the shorter one goes up here, like this. The larger one goes into his hand, but I'm assuming this goes in... Oh, okay, hang on. Doesn't, oh, hang on, what does this do? Does this, is this meant to fire or is this just for display? I don't know. Ah, because whatever. And then I guess stick it in here. So let's put the tape in. There we go, complete. This is really, really cool. Um, unfortunately, the rest of these G1 reissues are not necessarily any that I remember from childhood. So I'm not inclined to collect them all. Uh, just the ones that I wanted when I was young. Um, so yeah, that's me now got two Transformers and whilst they're not genuine G1s from the 80s, doesn't bother me in the slightest. Extremely happy with this. And it just feels solid. And, I, you know, as I've seen on various other YouTube videos, the originals are prone to extremely loose joints. So, as you can see, this is solid as a rock and extremely happy. So, you know, well done on these reissues. Highly recommended. So that was Soundwave and Buzzsaw, and yes, I know these are not original G1 Transformers, but for what I want them for, these reissues are absolutely perfect, as they make an amazing display piece, and they are fully functional, they're brand new, they're shiny. So uh, yeah, I don't really care about the fact that these are not from the 80s. Uh, very happy with this, and indeed my Optimus Prime. So. Did you like the G1 reissues? Do you have any? Let me know in the comments. And as always, thank you all for watching. Special thanks to the Patreons. Please like, please subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos from All Things 80s.